Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Finally, that losing streak is over. We've had three consecutive winning days of NBA tickets. Uh, but it's cool. Putting it behind us because we have a big weekend coming up and we need to cash. In this video, we're talking LSU. We're talking Arkansas, SEC football. Let's do it. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The Source. Get the suez. All right, we got Arkansas on the road at LSU. The line is LSU plus two and a half, and the money's pretty split even in this one as of Monday afternoon. But yo, check this out. So as we cruise on through the week, more and more Arkansas money is coming in. Here we are on Friday night. 83% of the money is now on Arkansas. Line doesn't budge. Seems like the books do not really care about Arkansas minus two and a half tickets. Just saying. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be LSU plus 5.64. So a full three point lean on uh, Arkansas. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. Where we're gonna start with the number six. And if you're wondering the significance of the number six, that's how many rushing yards LSU allowed last week. What? Just six rushing yards? Who did they play? Was it Vanderbilt? Oh, it must have been Bowling Green. No, it was Alabama. Yes, you heard it correctly. Alabama had 26 carries for six yards rushing against LSU last week. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't me saying that LSU's run defense is a brick wall. In fact, a couple teams, ran, uh, Ole Miss, for example, ran all over LSU. I think they ran for 300 yards. So the run defense has been up and down. What I am saying is maybe Coach O has figured something out here because that's Alabama. They shut it down. And that is super important for this matchup because we know Arkansas. We know Traylon Smith. We know KJ Jefferson. They need to run the ball or they're not going to win the game. Yeah, KJ Jefferson has shown improvements as far as throwing the football. But overall, we see it a couple times this year. If the defense takes away the run game, Arkansas is going to lose. It's clear that Coach O came out, shot the gaps, and said, we're going to take away Alabama's running game and make them beat us through the air. And if they do that same exact game plan against Arkansas, the LSU is going to win this game. Plain and simple. Now, as far as LSU's offense goes, there's some reason to be alarmed there. We don't even know who their quarterback is this week. Yeah, you would assume it's going to be Max Johnson. He's played pretty much the entire season. But now Coach O's saying that that kid Nussmeyer might split snaps with them. Now, as far as betting goes, it's really tough to back a team that can't even decide who their starting quarterback is. So you might be thinking there's no way that LSU puts up points on Arkansas here, but hold up. This Arkansas defense has been vulnerable to the pass, and I didn't think it would this year, but Will Rogers and Mississippi State, uh, they threw all over Arkansas. Bo Nix and Auburn had a big game on Arkansas. Uh, who else? Someone else had a big game on Arkansas that I can't think of off the top of my head. There was three games where a decent quarterback stepped up and threw the ball all over Arkansas. So even though LSU can't decide who their quarterback is, they've been a much better football team at home, both offensively and defensively. They forced a lot of turnovers at home. I think this is the pick here. I think we're going with LSU. We're fading the public. Yes, sir, I am siding with the books. Give me LSU fading the public here. Give me LSU plus two and a half and the money line, probably 0.75 units on each. I like this play here. It's going on the final ticket. Final ticket posted on kylecurms.com, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. It'll have my bet of the day, parlay of the day, top seven bets, along with every bet I'm making for the entire day, all posted right on the website. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bet. College football, week 11 is here already. And this is going to be a good one. I feel it deep down in my plums. Stay with me. We're making some money this weekend. I'll talk to you on Twitter.